two 335 style guitars. One is worth around $1,000, the other $6,500. I've had the Epiphone Sheraton for nearly 30 years and the Gibson Murphy Lab 335 for four weeks. To make this a fairer comparison, the Epiphone has been upgraded with Radio Shop Path Plus pickups and better wiring. The Murphy Lab 335 has Gibson's custom bucket pickups. The Sheraton has a polyurethane finish and the Gibson has a nitro lacquer, so the Gibson is going to breathe and vibrate a little bit more freely. You're going to hear both these guitars with no added EQ. Stick around all the way through because I'm going to play everything from soul to blues, Americana and more, so we can really hear what these guitars do. And I'll share my thoughts at the end. Let's start with some clean jazz tones.
There's a huge price difference between these two guitars, and the big question is, of course, is the Gibson worth it? I love the Epiphone. I've had it since I was 18, and it was my one working guitar for a long time. For me, where the Gibson wins, though, is how it feels in the hands. It's almost like an arch top. It's got a really fast response and amazing clarity. There's a bit of a low mid kind of mud to the Epiphone, whereas the Gibson is clearer in the lows, upper mids and highs. You could probably clean up the Epiphone with some EQ, but the Gibson is good to go straight from the start. Ultimately, there's just something in the way the notes pop out of the Gibson, which makes it feel really special. The Murphy Labs are as good as everyone says, but if you upgrade an Epiphone Sheraton, you still get a fantastic guitar and you have a lot more money left over. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon.